Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Remember what we talked about. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. with that right hand, a real solid shot. Parries that punch intended for the head. He comes with the straight right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. To the head he goes with a left hand. Halfway through round number one. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Parries that punch away. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Good job protecting himself. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Magic Man's punch is far off the target. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Certainly, certainly don't stand in front of him. Keep, keep moving, keep your hands moving, and you'll beat him to the punch. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Magic Man's bounce is back in his step. The start of a new round coming off a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, that's what being in great shape will do for you. Also, great experience where he's been through these things before and he's not panicking. Good defense just covering up down low.
Nice defense. Good block by Magic Man. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Magic Man's showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through round number two. And a right hand lands flush. And now he's targeting upstairs. Hook to the body. Oh, that got to him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. <gasps> what a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Blocks that belt line well. Able to cover up that gut. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to block and counter back. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Well played, straight right hand. He missed with that headshot. I don't want to criticize him too much, Teddy, because by going defensive here after being stunned, hey, this might be the right strategy to employ. As long as he doesn't stay with it too long. It's the right strategy to employ right now at this moment. But if you're going to win the fight, 
You have to find a way quickly down the road to get back to where you can score points and survive and be responsible defensively. Go, go! Come on, kid, focus. Well targeted left hand by Magic Man. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Magic Man. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice and relaxed. Listen, I want you to pick his jab. That's right. Pick his jab. When he throws a jab, I need you to throw more punches. Body, bang, the body. Hit the body. You don't need that. No, throw that away. I head on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four, but I still think <laughs> that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. Nice block by Magic Man. You're doing great. <sighs> he clinches when he gets to the inside. Nice work, nice he dismisses work. his opponent's headshot. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. Much action as he just ties up. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Magic Let Man's accuracy is non existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they hit. Good power punch, the right hand landed. He covers up nicely, gets, and yet another big shot comes in. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Can you believe that? If there were 
30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. You must bring your hands up, right? Now, come on, relax. Relax, shake it out, shake it out. You gotta relax. You gotta move out there, right? Move, move, move. Come on, breathe. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport, a profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Work the body, kid. He's Didn't get it done going to the body there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. You see him holding on. <laughs> Magic man, right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Magic Man's well off the mark that time. Pace yourself. Crashes home with a hook. Throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Magic Man's in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he can go out there and still take this. You don't have to slug it out with him. You're gonna, you don't have to slug it out with him. You're gonna tire yourself out. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Block. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, 
and it's on target tonight. It is. The old timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is let your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. That's a big right hand there. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track him down. <laughs> Reaching the halfway point of round number six. And he just holds on there. Toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. A well-placed overhand right. Good job staying away from the danger there. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Magic Man's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot. Wow, nice flush left hand. Solid up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. I don't want to see one punch now, right? You throw me up a cup, but I need to see another punch after. He steps inside, uppercut and hook. Uppercut and finish with a hook. Got it? It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Magic Man's recuperative ability is being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? The fight is over.
Magic Man's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.